Hello, from Pastor Scott. So this is Tuesday, the 24th of March, um, and this is week two of these Tuesday updates that I, that I hope to do every week. I hope I'm able to do that every week. I don't know if you got a chance to participate in our at-home worship on Sunday. I, I hope you did, and I hope you enjoyed that. I thought our uh, staff did a wonderful job putting it all together. And then actually Susan Poole weaved the parts, all the parts that we provided her into an email and uh, onto our webpage. So thanks, Susan, for that. And, you know, be honest, this first time out, we, we learned some things about doing that. For example, I was reminded again how incredibly goofy I look on a television or a computer screen. Um, you know, I found the pictures that a lot of you sent in of your family worshiping together really, really comforting. We're going to get those up on our Facebook page, by the way. Um, I found those pictures really wonderful, really comforting, except for the fact that in a lot of those pictures, I saw myself on your computer or your television screen, and that I found horrifying, honestly. And we also learned a few other things that hopefully we can get better at this as we go along. Okay, so a brief update um, about how Westwood's dealing with the, the virus situation. As you probably know, our governmental leaders have limited groups, in Nebraska at least, to 10 people or less through the end of April. So that means no in-person worship services here on our campus. It also means that all Westwood Church-sponsored events, activities, are canceled through the end of April. Now, we're going to continue to provide you with at-home worship services each every week, and we hope, by the way, to have something very special for you on Easter Sunday. Boy, we're never going to forget this Lenten season, are we? And actually, I want to talk to you for a moment, if I may, about Lent. You know, I actually did not grow up in a Christian tradition where we celebrated Lent at all. We didn't talk about Lent. In all of my growing up years, there was Palm Sunday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. I mean, that was the extent of our resurrection celebration. So for me, to immerse myself in Lent is actually still fairly new. Now, as you know, some folks give up something for Lent, and, and some folks add some new spiritual discipline to their lives during Lent. But I think um, both serve exactly the same purpose, focus. In Lent, we are to focus our lives, we are to focus our spirits on this reality. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. You know, I, I don't know about you, but during this strange and peculiar Lenten season, the most strange Lenten season that I can ever remember, this season that's also a virus season, it's a COVID-19 season, I find focusing on Lent to be very comforting. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. No virus is ever going to be able to change that. No uh, national emergency, economic emergency, whatever, is ever going to touch that. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. It means something. Even beyond the amazing news of the forgiveness of our sins and our eternal home with Jesus. I want to read you a passage today that sort of speaks to that truth. That you might want to ponder and meditate on. I'll give you the passage. It's Isaiah 43. I'm going to start at verse 1 and read through about the middle of verse 3. You might want to read this a few times this week if you want to. Let me read it to you. It says this. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you says, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by my name. You are mine. When you go through the deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. 
You know, for me, the very fact that God went to such extreme lengths to save us, that he sent his one and only son to be our redeemer, tells us that God isn't about to abandon us now either. Even in this COVID-19 season, COVID-19 is not too deep a water for him. Now, life has changed, for sure, in, a, in an amazingly short amount of time, if you think about it. And it maybe it's going to change even more, I don't know. But that's why the steadfastness of our God can be a rock for us to stand on, a barrier against the fire of chaos that seems to be burning around us. Let Lent remind us all that Jesus is our Savior. He is the Holy One of Israel, and he will be our guide. We remember that? We'll get through this thing together, following and leaning on our Jesus. Can I pray for you to that end? God, I pray for all of my friends, this Westwood Church family, for the folks who are struggling with um, teaching their kids at home, for the teachers who are trying to find new ways to do e-learning, new ways to educate kids, for kids, students who are in a new world, for people who are worried about their jobs, their, their stocks, these hard times, we pray. For people who are ill, who are hurting, we pray. An end to this virus, an end to illness. And we thank you for the fact that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and you will come again. Amen. Hey gang, read my written update. It's on our website uh, for a few words about the importance of and how we can stay connected together during this time of isolation. So check that out. And don't forget, at home worship this week, worship services will go live sometime on Saturday. You know, for all of you Saturday evening worshipers, and you know who you are, uh, through an email from us, uh, through our website. We'll try to get it on our Facebook page. And this week, we are going to share communion together, each of us in our own little church homes. So get a bit of bread and juice ready for the worship service. And I will see you then, my friends. Blessings. Bye.